In the beginning of the new year, the Northside Fitness Center changed its hours so they are open at 4 a.m. on Monday and don't close until Friday at midnight. This 24-hour schedule means more access for people looking to work out, but it also means someone needs to work the graveyard shift. I watch over this building from until 4 in the morning. Just kind of walk around and make sure everything goes smoothly. Watching over the people, kind of like Batman. This is senior airman Andrew Shoddy, service specialist and night shift airman. He's in a unique position to not only help these night owl workout hounds, but also hear their opinions. That happened then everybody's really appreciative that we're open. I get a lot of people who like just come back from TDYs and they're still on the time from the states or wherever they were before and or just a lot of people are shift workers and so they they really appreciate it. They appreciate the new hours, but Airman Shadi appreciates the company. I just know a good amount of people that because they usually go in the same times every day. So you kind of get to know some people but night shift where it's less busy, get talked to them more. Uh, most people that come on night shift, like come here during the night are pretty consistent. Same people, talk to them a lot, makes it not as lonely. Have a great night, man. That guy comes in here every night. I like talking to people. People are, people are cool, they're interesting. It's obvious Airman Shadi gets something out of these interactions, but what does he give back? I just joke around with all the people that come in here. I uh, like a lot of the intel people. If they would ask all the time, like, when's it going to be open because I want to take a shower. And I told them I'd let them shower back there if they told me what really happened to Amelia Earhart. But they claim they don't know. I find it funny. Laughing is always better than just sitting here and quiet. It might not be on a mission statement, and it probably won't make it into a bullet. But sometimes the most valuable thing an airman can give is a smile after a long day. Yeah, I make everybody's dreams come true. Airman First Class Nicholas Crisp, Randstein Air Base, Germany.